Hey, what's going on, you guys? The Keith Carnes here. It is Thursday, November 8th. So today is a new episode of uh, <clears throat> Criminal Mind Talk, as you see. Uh, this week we're talking about Richard Ramirez, otherwise known as the Night Stalker. Um, he was a, a serial killer who stalked uh, women and young girls in the night and uh, raped and killed them. Um, basically, uh, this guy would, would sneak into, uh, females' rooms, at, uh, houses at night, thus, you know, hence the Night Stalker name, nickname, and he would kill them after sexually assaulting them. Basically, Ramirez is, is really should be always labeled as being a coward, Obviously, a lot of uh, a lot of murderers are, but Richard Ramirez kind of takes the cake, so to speak, as being a, a true coward. Um, so I'm going to just tell you a couple of the things he did. I mean, uh, I'll read you a couple of the crimes, just to give you an idea of what he did, and give you my opinion on Ramirez. On April 10th, 1984, the body of a nine-year-old of nine-year-old May Leung, I think I'm pronouncing that right, was found dead in a hotel basement where Ramirez was living at the time. In 2009, Ramirez' DNA was matched to DNA obtained at the 1984 crime scene. On June 28th, 1984, 79-year-old Jenny Vincow was found dead in her apartment. She had been stabbed repeatedly and her throat was slashed so savagely she was nearly decapitated. On February 12, 1985, sisters Christina and Mary Caldwell, aged 58 and 71, were found dead in their home. They each were stabbed dozens of times. On March 17, 1985, Ramirez attacked 22-year-old Angela Barrios outside her home. He shot her before entering her house. Inside was Dale, was Dale Akazaki, I believe is how you pronounce it, age 34, whom Ramirez immediately shot and killed. Barrios survived the bullet had ricocheted off the keys she held in her hands as she lifted them to protect herself. Within an hour of killing the male, Ramirez struck again in Montre in Monetary Park. He attacked 30-year-old Tsailian Yu and pulled out her out of her car onto the road. He shot her several times and fled. A policeman found her still breathing, but she died before the ambulance arrived. The two attacks occurred occurring on the same day bolstered media attention and in turn caused panic and fear among the public. The news media dubbed the attacker, who was described as having long curly hair, bulging eyes, and wide-spaced rot rotting teeth, the walk-in killer and the valley intruder. So, you know, basically he, he uh, primarily he focused on women, but he also um, made it pretty much his, uh, his goal just to, pretty much it was just random acts of violence. He didn't pick anybody. He, he, he every, every victim was picked at random, pretty much from what, you know, I read. Um, and he was just a savage, basically, you know, he was just a person that was hardly a person, should be more referred to as an animal, if you will, was definitely not somebody that's worthy of their life they possess, taking the lives of others for absolutely no reason, and I'm not saying, oh, you know, there might be a reason to kill somebody, but obviously, you know, this is just completely senseless, there is no reason behind it, the guy was a sick piece of shit, and um, definitely should have been put to death, in my opinion. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Criminal Mind Talk. Just wanted to let you guys know about the future of this series. It will be discontinued um, at the end of the year. Uh, I really don't have much more to go on with this series. Oh, I'm sorry. I have like two episodes scheduled for 2013. And those will probably be the last ones I do for Criminal Mind Talk. So if you guys enjoy this... Um, and you want to see it continue, then I, I do need suggestions. If not, if I don't get any suggestions, I just won't have anything to upload, so I'll just pretty much end it. And you'll, I'm just letting you know so my subscribers will understand why um, there's no more episodes. Also, I would like to thank everybody um, for, the, for the amazing 
for the amazing amount of people that have subscribed. I'm at 119 subscribers as I film this video, and it, it, it is really amazing. I never thought I'd reach 119. I never thought I'd reach 100. And the fact that I'm at almost 120 of you guys is pretty amazing, and it feels great. So thank you guys. Every one of you, all 119 of you guys are, are awesome as always. I really appreciate it. And uh, that's that's about it. So if you enjoyed the video, um, I'm glad. Makes me happy. I, I make these to entertain you guys. So I hope it was entertaining. And I will see you guys tomorrow with a new episode of Which is, Be Which is Better. And uh, I guess that's about it. So this is Z. Keith Carnes. Have yourself a wonderful day or night. And I will see you guys in the next. Peace.